Here I am in air, at all that's left of the main reef, once the most secure prison in the country. It was said the only way out was death. Of course, this was just legend, but it was true. There were no records of anyone ever escaping the prison. Although there were many attempts, one man came closer. He actually made it out the building. He almost made it all the way, but unfortunately bumped into Lord Carrick, who was investigating the prison at the time. Carrick mistook him for his cousin Sir Geoffrey, and had him accompany him back to his castle. When it was discovered he was an imposter, he was executed. It wasn't the height of the walls or the number of the guard that made this prison formidable. It was what it was made from, stone. And where the stone came from, the sky. Wallace was fed by guards who scaled the building's walls using Wallace's hair as rope. Wallace was confined to his cell for months. It's not known how, but it eventually seemed to occur to him that if he tied his hair to the prison bars, he could climb down the building using his hair. He then went on to become the man we know and love. Wallace is just one of the names associated with Ayr. Also, there's the Bruce, of course, and Robert Burns. But perhaps the most often forgotten was Maxwell McArdle, one of the most famous and influential people in the history of science. This building was the home of McArdle, although now it's a restaurant dedicated to Burns. Unfortunately, that restaurant was awful, so I brought my own lunch. But first, let us shed light on the man who taught Isaac Newton to read. Here are but a few of his inventions. The spirit level, the exhaust pipe, double-bladed scissors, the draft excluder, artificial insemination, and of course, a cold sausage roll. To find out more, go visit Malcolm Cunningham's complete and unabridged history of Scotland.co.uk.